it's time. Hello, my friends. Welcome in. We are taking on Dortmund, the yellow wall, away today. It's not going to go well. We have been in yet another slide. This is also the first episode where FM has, or SI has put out a patch for FM. So I have no idea what to expect. Um, the only reason I knew that is I saw it on Twitter that apparently, like, corners are have been broken or no longer broken theoretically and when i logged in or when i started fm it went back to like 2k instead of uh, 1080p so like all the text was really tiny i was like what is happening here apparently they fixed the the sound test button but i don't believe them so we'll see uh we'll see how it goes but yes it's it's time for ralph to go um we've sold him for or, or, theoretically now to be fair this is the second time we've sold him since the last episode we sold him for 1.1 to Gladbach but he rejected the contract and then I went back and and Marseille was because like Gladbach and Marseille had come in but he said he wanted Gladbach and so Marseille has come back in and said well actually give you 200k more it's it's just the wages it's just the wages and what we could do with those wages and he's falling apart physically he's down to two and a half star I, I oh, so badly I would love if he would take a contract to eventually make him a goalkeeping coach, even though he's not a very good goalkeeping coach, like put him with the under 19s for the next decade and he might be all right. But I just, we can't afford to not, to not do this. Um, I would love, oh, I, mm, I don't think we're going to be able to, to bring on Zerkzy because it's 9.75 million. He now wants like 30 grand a week. So like that's going to disappear. I just want the flexibility of getting those wages off so we can do something next season. So it's time to say goodbye to Ralph. Also shout out again to Mr. Kev, one of my discord uh, members and Patreon supporters. He has updated the file to give us all the faces of the players we have as of right now. So you have the likes of, Nikolai, there he is, his beautiful shining face. Thanks for your support, man. Look at those arrows. Get in. Also, new patron, Wombat V. Thanks for your support. This is a brief respite here in the middle of the episode. If you can hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, if you're enjoying the series, that really does help, as does watching it all the way through, including the end screen, because that brings the average watch time of the episode up, which is a good thing for YouTube's algorithm. Just as a heads up, I have needed to re uh, update my PC, like, graphics card motherboard those types of things what i'm trying to do right now is get several episodes recorded and in in the can if you will so that this coming weekend that you're you know if you're seeing this probably on like a thursday or friday this weekend i can spend some time actually doing those updates but if there's a bit of a delay going into probably next season that's what i'm like over the transfer window that's what's going on just wanted to give you a heads up because i gotta you know i only have one pc so i'm like taking it apart and hopefully not breaking anything <laughs> like our players who are broken. So Thomas is only good for 60 minutes. Zalazar is good for 45 minutes. Marvin's coming back from injury for 60 minutes. Oliver is now showing up as going to need a couple months, but he's at least showing up. It's been bad, my friends. It's been bad. We drew with Union Berlin. Marvin gets the goal. He was, he was worried about um, the latest signings, so we've been starting him a little bit to assuage his fears. Um, we got smashed by Augsburg 3-1, really, in the first 46 minutes. It was 3-0. Really ugly game. Not really much redeeming qualities there. Hoffenheim, we actually won. Yay! 36-minute goal from Metza. Lovely stuff. Really good ratings from the back line. Was quite pleased, to be completely honest with you. And then, 93rd minute, we give up the winner again and like in some of these games i'm going more defensive and it's not working uh i dean i give a start to like some of the youth we brought right hold back in chan i dean gets a start and he two-footed lunged on the sideline it was it was good enough to show you as you can see here we play a 4-4-2 i was playing like a counter attack trying to like we're giving up lots of goals let's just do this and then watch this i mean out of nowhere scissor kick like dude what are you doing straight off it's like his first start was it his first start of the season probably not was it no it was his fifth of the season maybe something like that it's just like oh. 
I gave you an opportunity. And then he just takes the guy out. And of course we could, we like, we held on from that until the 68th minute. I was actually quite pleased with that, but couldn't keep it out. And then Leipzig, terrible game. Own, was that an own goal? Yeah, own goal in the 95th minute. Like, they have, like you would expect Leipzig to beat us at this point, but they ran rampant over us. We lick our wounds with a friendly against Racing Mech Mechelen, um, beating them 4-0. And then Stefan Ortega gives us a 6.2. They scored in like the 26th second of the game. It was 3-0 by the 19th minute. I'm not going to show you this because it was embarrassing. There was literally nothing I could do to make it right. But our keeper just had a mare of a game. Like It was like he just had a bad game. And it sunk us in the first 19 minutes. There was nothing we could do. So we're in fantastic form, my friends. Like, there for a minute, there was a chance, actually, that we could get to the Conference League. Which, you know, I don't know if I'd want to get to the Europa League, but the Conference League wouldn't be terrible. Now, would it? Um, but that's that's essentially gone out the window. There's four games left. So what is that? We could get 12 points, uh, theoretically. But Leipzig's going to get that spot, most likely. Um... I, again, I'm not gutted by that. I just want to make sure we don't slip back. We're now only eight points ahead, although we do have the game in hand over for Fortuna Dusseldorf. Um, although, if Bayer win, they could be on 30 points. Somebody asked in the comments, what happened to Bayer? Um, I think it is they had the fixture congestion that we all had in August, and then they had the Champions League. They actually got out of the Champions League group stage, but they fired their manager after losing to Dortmund 6-2. And they, you know, they, they drew the rest of their games and lost one in the Champions League, but they made it to the next round. Um, but they sacked their manager. And now that they've got a more regular schedule, they've been able to kind of get an uptick in form. So they may still survive here, but that's kind of, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was in the comments. I was like, what happened there? So that that's the story there. So they could be on 30 points after if they win their game in hand. And we'd only be six points ahead. So we just want to make sure we don't stumble here at the end. We are away to Dortmund, who are having, obviously, a fantastic season. They're, well, I, I don't know if that's by their standards fantastic, but in comparison to us, there are 59 points. or 23 points ahead of us. We're away to them. And then, of course, after that, we take on Hertha Berlin, who's the draw that we got in the DFB Pokal semifinal. So we're going to do a park the bus. Last time we did park the bus against uh, Bayer, uh, Bayern Munich, sorry, we, we did the 4-1-4-1. This one, we're going to do the 4-4-2. And I'm bringing in rotations because I just don't think, one, we've got injuries all over the place. Now, Karim here, I think I think it said he could go the full distance, yeah? Yeah, he's the one. He had a tight calf. But Thomas, I can't put in for, you know, he's only good for 60 minutes. So Nikolai here, Malik, Cook, Joe Scali, Reinfeld. Because if there was ever a game for Reinhold Reinfeld, it's this. Like, he is a defensive winger. That is his, like, best position um go on then so Zalazar can't go so Paulson and Simons is going to take it Guardiola up top who's continued to be trash Gelhart who's actually been half decent recently um and has extended his loan so his loan is now seven grand so we've saved like remember last season where I was like it went ahead and put the loan into effect rather than at the end of the season well now we've gotten the benefit of that where the, the wage for some reason has come back down they were good with seven grand a week um, instead of like 13 grand a week and they uh, they agreed to a squad player and not advance forward so now I don't have to worry about them being upset that we're playing him as an inside forward or something like that we are going to use him up top today because he's good at that position um, Al Moez has been terrible like it has been just all kinds of bad right Al Moez is on a 6.48 average rating 6.6 .6 in his last five which is you know maybe like betting in and all that kind of stuff but it's been poor um Pedro's manager has said, like, why aren't you playing him? So we've given him four starts now um, because I do think we might buy him. Yeah, I don't think we can keep Joshua. They, I offered to extend the loan. They want 33000 a week to extend the loan. Um, if we activate the $9.75 million clause, then we have to pay him, what is it now? Thirty to thirty-five grand, most likely. He's not worth that. I mean, he might be worth that. He hasn't been worth that this season. He's only got a goal and assist and 13 starts on a 6.66, which is not the number that you want to see on anybody. Um, Marvin out. Oliver still out. We're selling Ralph if we can. Is there anything else that we've done? Um, the dad music is going, you know, on a free. Fantastic. 
Oh, we could buy Timo Becker's sell on clause. 500 get 48 grand. Yeah. Oh, they haven't really used him. We'll, we'll let that sit for a little bit before we do anything with that. No one else is in or out. Let's go play Dortmund, I guess. I also went 4-4-2. They, remember last time we, we played wing play and like, I think that's what we did. Like they, they battered us with a lot of shots, but we were able to like hold tight. Um, and I feel like with the players we have, we could still shift to that wing play if we need to, to try and take advantage of the 4-3-1-2. The um, really, I'm just, I'm talking um, garbage because I think we're going to get smashed. We're just going to do key highlights because I kind of had some other updates for you that took a little bit longer. So can we survive parking the bus? Like I would be thrilled with a draw. We're away from home. We're in terrible form. Like, a draw is, I think, the best we can we can ask for here. Um, Guardiola in a pressing four, because why not? Of course, Simons plays the ball into space there, and he's not anticipating it because he's pressing forward instead of, like, an advance. He's like, Simons, mate, like, we're trying to hold on to the ball, son. We've immediately given the ball back. There's Klosterman, who tried to prove us wrong last time. It's, you know, just one of those things. Just a bad run, you know? Uh, and that's what... I am a little, you know, sometimes as a content creator, like you see stuff on Twitter, it's like, oh, like somebody's got some amazing tactic that like with Man United, they're undefeated. They're winning like three trophies a season or whatever. And I just go like, that's not really realistic. Like even with the best teams, they have bad games, not to mention, you know, really mediocre to average teams like us, right? Like I think our squad is fine to stay in the Bundesliga, but I don't think it would be broken if we could just all of a sudden smash the Bundesliga right in our first season. So I'm totally good with us struggling here a little bit because I think it's realistic and I like realism and narrative. So nice job heading that awake. Win that. Come on, Joe. You just signed an extension until the end of next season, mate. Come on. Klosterman pings it in off the post. We just let him have a free header decided to just, just, I don't think you're going to be able to head that in. That's fine. Um, I'm going to demand more instead of encourage. They don't like that. We haven't had a single shot. We have 37, 39% possession. Ooh, dee, ooh, dee, ooh, dee. Don't worry. They have 18 shots in the first half. Oh, dear. Deary me. 18 shots. Away! There you go. There's another shot, but it's blocked. Guardiola, work a little harder, mate. A little light jog. I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? Did you see the curl on that? Did you see the curl on that? Or I guess from your perspective. Like that that was lovely. That was a lovely finish. I mean, we got all kinds of bodies in the box here. And then he, I mean, splits defenders, puts it upper top 90 quarter shot. I mean, that was ridiculous. What was that? Get your acts together. I mean, what, what, they're like, dude, what do you want us to do? Or park in the bus, you know? Um, we'll try changing it up here in a second. 50. Oh, we had our first shot. Go on then. Um, do we do wing? I think we do wing play. We might as well go have some fun. Like counterattacking wing play-ish. Okay. Now that we've lulled them to sleep. No, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me figure this out. Yeah, I think we'll go balance. We're going to put Gordiel on a target four because he's tall, right? He's six foot two. He, he can do the target forward as poorly as anything else. So we can ping the ball up to him. He's left footed. Joe's left footed, though. I hate hitting the back button and doing that. Um, and everyone else pretty much on support except uh, I put Karim on attack because he wasn't as good on attack. But maybe we'll just do it this way. So we have that balance. We have attack here and attack here. I mean, we might make some subs here in a minute. We're going to play balanced, see how that goes. I'd just like to see us get a shot on target. You know, we got small goals here. Small goals, my friends. Um, and I'm just trying not to get people injured to take on Hertha, but to be completely honest with you, which is not really what you want to say as the Schalke manager against your biggest rivals, but it's also kind of real. Like, let's be honest. Um, Joe is having an absolute terrible game, 6.1. Sergi is doing Sergi things as you do. Let's see. I'm, I'll make some subs and bring you back to save us time. All right. We're putting uh, Reinhold back at wing back to j save Joe for the cup game. Mehmet Chan Aydin comes in after his red card. Um, and Ali goes up top because he can play a advanced forward. 
We put uh, Sergi on complete forward on support. We've gone attacking. We might as well throw caution to the wind. Like, what's another loss by two or three goals or four goals? It doesn't really matter. Whereas, if we go to this, we potentially could draw. I don't think we're going to win by any chance. But, you know, maybe there's a chance. Al Moez, down the wing. He's got two runners. Can he find any of them? He's got four runners. And he finds absolutely no one. It falls back into the middle of the park. And here's a counterattack. Come on, man. That was like aimless cross. And then down the middle. Hey, that, that Erling Holland guy is pretty good. I mean, what, what are you going to do with that? Let's, uh... I'm going to berate them. We've been poor. They don't like that either. That's fine. I just want to get a shot on target. Hummel's out for Witzel. You know, hate that for you that you got that on your bench. Oh, oh, it falls. Oh, they're going to say he's offside. Come on. I don't think he was offside. Come on, lads. Just a glimmer of hope, please. I just want a shot on target. That was a shot on target. Come on. I think he was onside. I think he was onside. It was close otherwise. Are they going to show it again? He's onside. Where is that yellow line? Yeah, it counts. Get in. Yeah. That The yellow line was not accurate either, but he was definitely on. Oh my gosh, Steve Cook has scored. Uh, mm, do we, I think we just, mm, uh, th this is the manager that doesn't know what to do right now, face. Uh, positive. Positive? I don't know what to do. I, a piece of me is like, leave it attacking, you know, but I feel like surely that means we're going to get taken advantage of, but. Taking it down to defensive, I don't think is going to change anything. Like I said, there's Erling Holland. Maybe if we survive this corner, we could go to a five at the back. It's a goal kick. I will take a draw. A draw is like fan freaking tastic, right? Like, okay, what? Hmm, all right, here we go. We'll try it. We're taking Guardiola off, bringing on uh, Pedro. Um, who's definitely more of a ball-playing defender. We're putting everybody on defend, essentially, in the midfield and back, except for Cook, who I guess we will just make. He likes to be just a central defender. Let's just kind of keep it simple, right, is kind of what I'm thinking. And same thing with Malik. Let's put him on cover, but no nonsense. Uh, can you do... Let's just like keep, keep it simple at the back, right? You go on defend. Um... I've got it much lower. Waste time whenever possible. Be more disciplined. Play for set pieces. Play out of the back. Hold shape slow. Like, essentially it's control, but like it's almost park the bus. Drop the line to standard. Force them outside. Standard line of engagement. So no more high lines where they can ping the ball into uh, Guardiola. I'm tempted to just do like flat back five, but... Can we survive a Tuesday? Like, again, you may be thinking, dude, you just scored two goals. But, like, look, I just want to pause and look at the stats. 34 shots to three. So I think this makes sense to go defensive um, and see if we can hang on because that's literally what we're doing. I don't want to highlight. Ortega pings it out. Oh, gosh, they've won that ball. Of course, I have distribute to center backs on. I have distribute to center backs on every time. I'll change it back. So we've just made it wing play with the five at the back. It's just one of those things where it just seems like darned if you do, darned if you don't. You don't make a change there. You probably give up an attacking goal. Although, you you know, maybe it's a, a thing with momentum in FM where it's like, I should have just left it and kept pushing. But I just think when you look at those stats, you're like, that's ridiculous. And I just feel like if we... Don't distribute the ball to the left back there, and we actually do it to the center backs like I have requested, then we don't concede that. That that has happened a couple times with Ortega, where that was part of the problem in the game that we lost uh 4-0, is it was his distribution. And I know it has like as part of one of the oh, maybe it was the tiki taka tactic or something, or maybe it was the sweeper keeper on support. Like part of, of that says to take more risks. And so I'm like, do I just have to take that off? Because 
his decision making around taking more risks has been poor and we've like those three goals against uh Colon were all distribution problems so i'm like again i was expecting to lose this game i'm just frustrated that that's how we i mean 42 shots oh my gosh oh pain hertha beat buyer they play they played the night of the 16th so good news on both fronts they they played like the last game of the weekend they beat leverkusen so that keeps us a little bit further away from the relegation zone. We're still eight points away from the playoffs and really the relegation zone. And that means we've had an extra day of rest because we play on the 19th. So they have the 17th, 18th. They get two days of, of training and recovery and rest before they take on us. It does say, my friends, let's go find the scouting report. They play a 5-2-2-1 vertical tiki-taka. There's a piece of me that says... We should play control, overlap on the wings, standard line so that we don't have the ball over the top. You know, the because the, if like vertical tiki taka is supposed to be um, not long ball, right? But like it's not the passing sideways, it's passing vertically, right? So congesting that way. But I also think we could do like a 4 3 3 and have that like dm sit in into the hole to deal to help deal with those three attacking and let the wingbacks do their thing so i'm gonna think on that i'm gonna record it before you see it next time but i'm curious what your thought if that's like if that's a good idea they or or we do we just go you know pedal to the metal and go gagan pressing because they should be more tired than we are like do four two three one gagan pressing and see if we can win the ball back high up and prevent them from passing with the tiki taka style if you're enjoying the series, maybe not the loss to Dortmund, but the series as a whole, hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.